Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to show you how you guys can move data into Star Rocks uh, using Sling CLI. Uh, now Sling simplifies basically the extract and the load part so I'm gonna be showing you how easily you can move data uh, from CSV, JSON, Parquet uh, sources or, or any other sources into Star Rocks using the Sling CLI. And then I, I would also want to demonstrate how you guys can move data from any databases. In this example, we'll take Postgres as an example and see how you can move data in a pretty fast way from Postgres into Star Rocks. So this uh, video will focus on how to utilize the Sling CLI and move data into Star Rocks. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. All right, so for teaching purposes, uh, to in order to teach you the concept, I am using Docker to spin up all the resources, right? So let's get started, right? So uh, in the project directory, you're given these Docker file, which will spin up a Postgres, uh, a Star Rocks front-end container, and a Star Rocks back-end container, right? So to learn, uh, all you gotta do is come and say Docker compose up iPhone iPhone build, and minus D stands for detach. Now the containers are running in the background. Now that you have the containers up and running, we need some data to play with, right? And for learning purposes, uh, I have a simple Python file which will generate some CSV uh, data files. Come to the project directory and uh, simply, you know, right click and uh, run this particular Python file. This will generate a bunch of um, files in the current working directory. And I will stop this. And uh, if you go to the current directory, uh, as you can see over here, we have some bunch of CSV files that we can play with. All right, so the next step is uh, let's use servo. You can also use ngrok. Uh, this step is optional. Uh, this will basically, you know, forward the traffic on a custom domain, right? So that we can use it. So what we will do is we will fire up this command ssh minus r so we're going to forward these ports right and our domain is going to be abc.servo.net so now copy simply go to terminal as you can see here paste this so now i can use abc.servo.net uh, again this is very similar to ngrok right uh, very very similar to ngrok so this is optional uh, you can use localhost again uh, if needed okay so now let's proceed to the next step now, in order for me to show you how to move data, let's basically uh, create a simple database in a Star Rocks. So what I'm gonna do is I'll open up my Docker container. And if you go to container and you will see the Star Rocks FE1, click on that, click on next sec and fire this command. And here you can see, we see the Star Rock shell. Uh, if it's hard to see, I'll zoom in a little bit more. Uh, now let's create a database. So we're gonna use the command create database. We're gonna create a database called my database. And this step is optional, but uh, the reason I have to do this is because, you know, I'm running things locally, right? I have one FE and one BE node. By default, the replication number is set to three. So I'm just setting that up to one. Okay, so now we are all set for the demo, right? Now we can use uh, Sling to move data from our CSV source into Star Rocks. So now let's take a look at the process. So sharing my screen again. So the first example that I wanna show you is, over here, let me just make sure I have the right one. Okay, here, sling run, SRC stream. So we provide the path where our data is. So again, my, my, my data is in this file system, right? Uh, here you can see the SRC option, uh, format is CSV. It is delimited by comma and headers to true, okay? And then here, the target is gonna be star rocks, right? As you can see, I want to move inside uh, a schema called public and inside a table called orders. My primary key for my Star Rocks is gonna be order ID and I wanna do a full refresh. This is as simple as that. So you see how easy it makes the whole process, right? The, the sling thing, right? So now before that, um, we need to set these variables. So let me come here, okay. Now see, export Star Rocks and we're gonna use this particular URL, Star Rocks colon slash slash username colon password and then your domain name. You can use localhost here for the demo again. Um, but since I'm using uh, servo, I can use a custom domain here, right? abc.servo.net port 9030 and the database. So copy this command, go to your terminal. Uh, I think I'll go here, export it, okay? And now what you can do is you can say sling connection test star rocks and you should see um, success, which means the connection uh, was successfully established, right? Similarly, we're gonna do it for Postgres as well. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'll say sling connection test Postgres. Perfect. 
Now, what, what we want to do is the first exercise is we want to learn how to move data from uh, a file system into uh, Star Rocks, right? So what we'll do is simply copy this command. Okay, and then simply paste here. And then now Sling will do all the magic for us and it will move all the data from the CSV file into Star Rocks. Again, I'm doing all this locally, so it could take a little bit time. So let's be patient. Uh, that's complete. Now we can go here and say show databases. As you can see, now use public. Now show tables. As you can see, we have the order table, right? We were able to move data in a matter of seconds. Select everything from orders, limit to, and here you can see the data, right? Pretty fast, hopefully that made sense. All right, so hopefully that made sense, right? So now let's learn how you can move data from a database, any database that is, into uh, Star Rocks. So first part, we learned how to move data from any file system, CSV, Parquet, JSON, whatever that is, into Star Rocks. And now we're gonna see how we can move data, uh, data from any database into Star Rocks. But in order to teach you this, I need to first move data into Postgres and then need to show you that, right? So let's do that particular process. Uh, so this command right here, right? This will move the data from the CSV, the file system into Postgres, okay? So I'll copy this and I'll run this. So now what this is doing is again, it's moving the data from my file system, all those CSV files into Postgres. The wonderful part about this is, listen, we are not writing any custom code, right? Simple CLI commands here and there and all that we are moving data, right? So again, that's done, right? So now uh, I can go to my Postgres and simply uh, do select star from orders and let me connect quickly. And here you can see I got all my data. Now, what do we wanna do is we wanna see how we can move data from Postgres into Star Rocks, right? So let's take a look at that. So now coming back to my screen again. See, very, very easy, right? It makes it super easy. Sling run, you provide the source, which is Postgres. You can provide a custom SQL, right? So here I'm saying, hey, you know what, I just want to move only these columns into Star Rocks for my analytical purposes, right? Target connection, Star Rocks, we specify the schema, we specify the primary key mode, uh, full refresh or incremental. You have the ability to do incremental as well. And simply, you know, you can copy this, run this. Now, as you can see, it's moving data from Postgres into Star Rocks, right? So you see how easily you can move data uh, pretty fast, right? Without writing any, any custom code, okay? So that's done. And now I can again fire this command, works fine. Hopefully this makes sense. So what you have learned in this video is, hey, how you can move data from any sources like uh, CSV, Parquet, JSON into Star Rocks. Then you learn how you can basically move data from any databases into Star Rocks using the Sling. I really like Sling uh, because again, it makes it super easy, right? Also, you can uh, wrap the Sling uh, CLI command into, uh, if you're using Airflow, then you can probably put that in the Airflow bash operator and you can now schedule it on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, right? So now you're moving data on a scheduled basis. You can also use the Python plugin from Sling. Uh, then you can write a simple Lambda function. Lambda function is gonna run on cron and it's gonna move the data. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and if so, uh, do uh, give a like to the video and share the video with your coworkers and colleague. All the resources steps are in the description. So if needed, you can try these out. Thank you so much and I'm gonna see you in the next video.